Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're having a wonderful Monday. So today Apple beat its own record for the longest amount of betas or the most amount of betas for an upcoming iOS release, making iOS 12 the most worked on iOS update ever seemingly. So we've got 11 betas now. It's a slightly larger update, 78 megabytes. And uh, let's go ahead and dive right in, see what's new. And I wanted to mention the release dates and some new features that have been found. So I have been running the developer beta 10 since Thursday. It is so dang silky smooth, I love it. Now, before updating, as usual, I wanted to show you the storage, 186.05 after 186.73, pretty consistent, clears out a little bit of cache files and gives you some storage back. So what's new? Now, in this release, nothing exactly. I haven't found anything just yet, but I have found several features from the previous betas that I haven't mentioned yet, so I wanted to talk about that. If you have multiple HomePod set up in your house and you actually connect to one, it now has a new default volume position, which is about 60% of the way there, 65%. Uh, it sits just like that every single time. And uh, as you can see, so this way you don't have to constantly adjust them back and forth, which was a nice change. And here's something else that I noticed. So if you uh, actually change the volume, go down here on one of them, but you wanna bring it back to the same volume as the others. If you place it right next to it, right there, it'll actually bounce right into the same volume configuration, which is awesome. So it has to be pretty close. And then it just does that. So that never happened before, now it does. I also noticed that uh, connecting multiple HomePods is much faster now. So if you have several and you wanted to tick all of them, it'd be nice to have a click all button, but it's so much faster to go ahead and click them and connect them all. And on older devices without 3D touch, it was just discovered that Apple added yet another 3D touch feature to non 3D touch devices. And if you hold the little X, you get the same pop-up just like that to clear all notifications. So just like on a 3D touch device, if you just click it, it gives you that clear option. So it's really cool how Apple has added a lot of 3D touch-like support to non-3D touch devices, holding on these toggles will open them and whatnot. So I really do like that about iOS 12. And it was just discovered that NFC in some capability does work now on iOS 12. So a user on iOS beta actually discovered that it will automatically connect to Bluetooth through a speaker that's NFC enabled. So that's a really cool change and maybe more support will be added for more speakers in the future. And actually searching for a company in the app store, it seems like this feature has been re-added, the ability to see all of their apps and games produced by that company. Uh, for some reason it was removed and now it's back in this latest beta. And now it seems that not only San Francisco has gotten new maps, but all of California. So actually zooming out, you can see how much more detailed it is now. You have a lot more uh, detail here on the national parks. The roads are more distinct. It's definitely a very good change. And it's, uh, I guess, slowly going to roll out to the rest of the United States. So yeah, slow roll out there, but for now, all of Cali. And there it is for the features. Of course, let's go ahead and do a Geekbench. And just for the kicks, I wanted to do one here on this iPhone just to see versus the first beta how far it's come. And uh, on this guy, wow, the Geekbench scores have been phenomenal. Using this thing has been such a pleasure. Less crashing, well, almost no crashing, very fluid, very smooth. All of your apps are still loaded in the background when you go to them. I'm definitely loving the change there. So let's go ahead and run on the older one as well. And while that's going, I just wanted to mention we have a massive iPhone update coming today. In the span of a few hours this morning, there have been so many new reports and confirmations, specs, details on the Apple A12 chip. So I'm very excited. We're rendering a bunch of stuff up right now. So I'll have that up later today. Hmm, and a surprisingly low score. So we have 10,275 multi on the last one, 10,605. And did you just notice that I'm still experiencing this glitch with my brightness for whatever reason, it'll just make it really, really dim. You can't adjust it manually. And then it kicks back into regular brightness. I've been having that this entire time in iOS 12. Super frustrating. And on the iPhone 5S, this is on the first beta here of iOS 12, 2246 multi, now 2214. So really can't say it improved, it actually decreased the single core score, but uh, you'll definitely notice how much faster it is. Things load so much faster. Apple definitely kept their promise for that. Well usually faster. These apps haven't been opened in a while. So uh, yeah, there it is. Performance wise, still very good. Can't say anything went wrong. It's just the Geekbench is lower, but that's not always very representative of the actual performance. So that's iOS 12 beta 11. I'm very sure that we're going to see another one before the GM at least. So this really will be the most polished iOS update ever. And I think you guys will absolutely love it. Now, as for final release date, we're going to see that on September 12th. That's apparently the actual date the iPhones are getting released and Apple always drops the new versions after that. Anyways, thanks for watching. Those are the latest changes and I'll update you on any in the future. Peace.